What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joe King John 64 and today I'll be talking about White Boy Sam Street versus A Thoughts. Now if you guys have not seen A Thoughts videos, I suggest to subscribe to him. The link will be in my description so you guys can click on it and go to his channel and subscribe to him because he does show you guys a lot of truth about the Call of Duty community man. It's been insane lately. A lot of YouTubers have been accepting COD points from Activision and this guy, you know, had the guts to expose all these YouTubers man. It's crazy. A Thoughts, you're the man. I don't know why people hate you but people, you need to subscribe to him and leave some likes in this video because he tells you the truth about the COD Community. So, anyways, moving on to the main topic of today, it's about White Boy Seven Street and Eight Thoughts. You know, these two men are fighting for the same cause, and they both want to make Call of Duty great again. You see, they're both fighting for the same cause, but you no, know, this is one awkward thing that's been going on. White Boy Seven Street hates Eight Thoughts. Why though? He's fighting for the same cause as White Boy Seven Street though. This is what I don't get. You see, A Thoughts, I know he has like a stronger, you know, opinion towards what's going on with the Call of Duty community. And, uh, you know, he exposed certain YouTubers face rain, some Russian or German YouTuber, you know, talking about receiving COD points from Activision. And, you know, he had the guts to post them out. And then, you know, all of a sudden, White Boy 7th Street pops out of nowhere and says, you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be exposing YouTubers, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm trying to make Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty you know, great again, but not like this. And I'm like, bruh, he has done more than you in two videos than what you did in the past three months. You see, White Boy 7th Street, I know he wants to make Call of Duty great again. You know, he's been telling everybody how Activision should handle the updates. Like, oh, they should add this weapon, they should add like the MP7, the Scorpion Evo. You know, they should bring this gun back from Black Ops 1, how maps should be handled and how DLC should be handled. No more supply drops. You know, he's fighting against the supply drops. I understand that, you know. But, you know, also Athos is doing the same thing. You know, he's fighting against the supply drops. But, you know, Athos took the extra step to expose those YouTubers who are promoting the supply drops, but yet, you know, White Boy Seven Street does not white does not want that. You know why? Why don't you want that, White Boy Seven Street? This is pretty weird. You know, you both are trying to expose Activision for the same thing, but you know, Athos takes a step further, but you don't want that. Like, it seems to me like uh, you know, it's a bad cop, good cop thing. Like. Uh, White Boy Cemetery will be the, the good cop. You know, this guy will fucking, will fucking put a flower on the inmate and say, you're a peaceful man, you're free to go. While Mr. A Thoughts over here, he will fucking punch the shit out of the inmate and tell him, hey, fuck you, you stay in here in jail and rot. You know, that's how I feel A Thoughts is right now. He's the freaking bad cop, but you know, he's doing the, the good thing because you know, he, he's keeping a rapist out of the street. That's how I see this whole situation. But they're both on the same side. Like, I don't understand this, guys. You're fighting for the same thing. But yet, White Boy Sam Street wants to stop Athos for some odd reason. So the biggest question is right now, why is White Boy Sam Street trying to stop Athos? Why hasn't anybody asked that? Because, you know, Athos is putting more work into his research compared to White Boy Sam Street. He's just sitting there in a chair, complaining in all his videos about Call of Duty and hasn't done a single thing besides to trend a hashtag. While Athos has done more in two videos, exposing two separate YouTubers with over 500,000 sub subscribers, and he has done more. He exposed them, he called out several big YouTubers, and he has it on point. Compared to what how you have done white boy seven street. So do not be jealous do not be greedy and let this man try to grow out of that Because he's doing the good thing for the community. He's trying to sweep it up He's trying to clean the mess that everybody has done But yet you're over here trying to stop this guy like what's going on here? Are you, are you being paid by Activision? Are you, are you friends with phase rain or something like what's going on white boy seven street to be honest you see I have respect for you you're, you have been in the COD community for the longest time, I understand that, I'm, and I'm a small YouTuber, but I know what I see, I know how I want to review this whole situation. You are stopping a good guy from doing its work. He's like, uh, you know, he's like Batman, and you're like Two-Face. I mean, literally, you're showing two faces right here because, I mean, you're both fighting for the same side, but yet you turn it against him. Like, what the fuck is going on here, man? 
And I know some of you subs, some of my subscribers right now are subscribed to Eight Thoughts, and uh, you know I'm pretty sure you guys have seen what's been going on, and I'm pretty sure you guys would understand that who am I going with here? And uh, I'm picking Eight Thoughts to like, um, you know, he is the guy to be you know leading this whole movement about the you know make Call of Duty great again because he does have some valid points. He has shown proof. He has shown you know some evidence about the car community selling out. So what's wrong with you, White Boy Center Street? That's what I want to ask. And I'm pretty sure that one problem started off with the veteran thing. And uh, I understand he called you out in the wrong moment, you know, and I think it wasn't even true either. So, um, but still, man, I think you can forgive him and uh, move on into finding the same thing because you're both right. You know, you're both fighting about the supply drop things, but yet you want to stop him. What is your spotlight way too big for him not to fit in or something? Like what's going on here? So that is it, guys. That's my, my my whole opinion about this whole situation. I think A thoughts, you know, should be should be uh, you know supported about this whole situation, and uh, let him do his thing. You know, let him expose all these YouTubers because it's bullshit. What's going on lately? We're not supposed to be paying for supply drops.